I'm outside of Alex's house and she's just leaving right now. Her husband Ryan has planned a special spa day for their anniversary, but that's not the real surprise. I'm actually here to help him with a little project that Alex has been struggling to finish since they moved into the house. Hey! hey. The gallery wall really frustrates my wife, Alex. How many frames do you get? How big should it be? It's just not finished. It always feels like something that's left undone. We've been working on it for six months and this is as far as we've got. Well, I definitely think that I can help you out with this. Oh, that would be great. What I think it really needs is a great anchoring piece to really draw attention to the entire collection. And I have an idea of how we can fix that. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. Problem is I have so many pictures, I can't find the perfect one. You know, it's not so much about finding the perfect picture as it is about finding images that really speak to you. Okay, well, I really like this one of story. Can we do that oh, one? that one's so beautiful. Now, I've brought you a Pixma Pro 100, and the great thing about this printer is we can go big. Like how big, like this big? Like 13 by 19 big. Well, that'd be great. This is like having a poster shop at your house. Exactly. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's great. Oh, it's beautiful. I just love the idea of being able to display something this size in your family room wall instead of just having it on your social media wall. Exactly. Well, it's going to be great for gift giving too. We need to pick some more photos and then we can get to framing. There actually isn't art to hanging art. And I find the best way to do it is to actually create templates for each piece so that you can move them around to get a feel for the layout. Number each of the templates and then number the actual piece of artwork the same. Now, the easiest way to figure out where we're going to mount the hangers is to flip this over, and we're going to put the template face down, puncture a hole on either side. There we go. Now we know exactly where our holes go to hang it once we stick the template up on the wall. Simple tricks like cutting out the templates makes the job so much easier. What I've done is I've created a boundary for us using painter's tape and essentially I've made it the width of the sofa and brought it up about six inches from the back of the sofa and a foot from the ceiling. So now, once the sofa's away, we know exactly where we need to place all of the pieces. So we talked about that anchoring piece and we've already templated a beautiful family photo. So I'm gonna pass this off. I've marked the center on the wall and this template's gonna go centered and be the jumping off point where everything else surrounds it. So where does this one go? Wherever you think it should go. So we've got our first anchoring piece. Now let's place the bigger ones and then the smaller ones can all fall around. Okay. It looks great. I think it looks really good. We're we ready to nail something? I think we should. Okay, good. The easiest way to take the templates off is actually just to rip them off the wall. One, two, three. Final step. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. All right, let's hang that anchor piece first right in the middle. Okay, great. Can't wait. What do you think? It's, it's exactly what, what I know Alex is going to want. It's perfect. But what kind of blows me away is it was so easy. Well, and you know what? That's the best part about the Pixma Pro. Now that you have one, you can update this collage all the time by printing brand new prints. I think we should go and set up our stakeout so we can reveal her real surprise today. I'm excited for Alex to get home and see the gallery wall and the impact of the big photos as opposed to just a mess of small photos. I'll hold you, this okay? This is weird. Okay, you take this off, you ready? No, no! What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> So we finished it. <gasps> it's I take pictures beautiful. of the family and of your parents and of oh dog my gosh. and everything. I love it. I thought you were Was gonna this kill a whole me. Thing? I thought you were gonna Yes. Yes. I thought you were gonna murder me. <laughs> I thought you were cleaning the house. I'm terrible at lying to you. So what do you think? It's beautiful. What do you think? Hi! I'm so glad. You had such great shots, and now they're where they're supposed to be, up Thank front you. and center. Happy anniversary, guys. Thanks. <laughs>
All it took was a couple of hours and the Canon PIXMA Pro 100 to make for an unforgettable anniversary. If you have a space in your home that needs a little bit of extra personality, then look no further than your own photos. Get them off of your hard drive and smartphone and display them where they belong, on your wall. All it takes is a little bit of time, some photo paper, and a great printer to really make your own mark in your home. Now it's your turn. Get creative with Canon.